Ha! There we go. Now we have some audio. Now you can hear me. All right, you see, this is why we're doing a quick test. This is why we don't get started right away. Why I need your feedback. I need your help that you tell me whether you can hear me and see me. And then let's dive right in. By the way, before we get started, how do you like my background here right now? If you like this, uh, click like, because I would like to know if you're liking it. So I do more videos like this. Or if you, if you don't like this, let me know. <laughs> okay, anyhow, let's get started. So today, I want to talk about the stock market crash 2020 that is going on right now and what to do, what you should be doing. Because you see, right now, I'm receiving emails. I'm receiving comments here where people say, you know what? I, I bought Tesla stock and it is down 20 or 30 percent right now. My 401k is down 20 or 30 percent. Some of you said that your savings have been dwindling down up to 50 percent. So I wanted today, let me just show you what we're going to talk about. So today I want to let you know how bad is it? I mean, just looking at what is going on in the markets right now, how bad is it really? I also want to answer the question that many of you have, will it get worse? And of course, as promised, I want to show you what to do. So let's get started. Let's actually take a look at the markets here really quick. So today is March 11th. And as you can see, we act broke down. So the Dow is down another almost 1500 points, 5.86. Yesterday, there were talks about a stimulus plan. President Trump said there will be a stimulus plan. Today, the Bank of England cut interest rates from 0.75 to, I, I believe it was just a quarter of a percent here. And yet, the market seems to be in free fall. So, how much worse can it actually get? Well, let's take a look at this here. And uh, also, let's see how long does it typically take after a crash until the market continues. Now, as you can see, I have here graphics uh, that is actually from Four Pillar Freedom, and uh, I'll post a link to them in the description here right now so that you know where I got my, my information from. Um, it was six years. Uh, there's another one that was three years of recovery. You see, most of them were just like a year. But then we also had uh, recently, I mean, in 2000, the crash, it took us eight years to recover. And then the 2008 financial crisis, it took us six years to recover. So here's what I did. I, I actually looked for the summary and see, OK, uh, this is pretty much since 1966 uh, through 2018, the table of how many days did it take us to recover? Now, what you see here when you look at there we go at this table. You see, actually, uh, there we go. If the, the more significant the drop, the longer it takes to recover. So in 2007, 2008, the financial crisis, right? I mean, this is when markets dropped by 56% and it took us 1,400 days to recover. In 2000, the dot gone era, right? The markets dropped 48% and it took us 1,800. 33%, it took us 600 days to recover. And then in 73, we had the 48% drop. So as you can see, smaller drops, it is easier to recover quickly. This is where it usually takes, what, a few months here, um, 120 days. It's like four months. So the question is, right now, what is going on here? See, thus far, thus far, we have fallen over the past two weeks 20%. So that's where we stand right now, including today, where right now we broke through some key support levels here. So the question is, how much further can we fall? Because if you have a retirement account, you probably look at the statements right now and say, ah, <laughs> how much longer will we recover quickly? Because if you remember December 2018, this is when we had a drop, but we recovered within a matter of weeks. However, the drop was not very significant. That is why. Anyhow, so let's take a look at this. I believe that the worst is yet to come. And here's why. Um, there were only two times when the Fed and the Bank of Canada, this BOC, cut rates by at least half a percent in the same months. And this was in 2001 and during the global financial crisis. And we just looked at this. This is when we fell 56% or 
or 44%. So very, very interesting. Also, we had the Bank of Australia cut interest rates right before the Fed did it uh, last week, as you remember. And today we had the Bank of England cutting interest rates. You might also have heard that the Fed already committed $80 billion to pump into the system. So yes, we are talking about quantitative, quantitative easing all over. So let's compare the current sell-off to the, the massive crashes that we had in 1987, as you know, this was a big one, and 2008. 2008 is probably what, what most of us still remember, right? I mean, this has only been 12 years ago, 2008. Gosh, time is flying here. So as you can see, the white line here is where we are right now. And you see, we, we have been bouncing down. We have been bouncing back, right? So we fell, we bounced back. But compared to these two massive, massive crashes where we are down almost 50%, we are only halfway there. So this is where the question is, right now, all governments, all banks around the world are trying to stop this free fall. Will they succeed? And what can you do to survive in this, in this environment here, especially if it is getting worse? I mean, with the coronavirus today, the World Health Organization, the WHO, classified it as a pandemic, whatever it is called, right? So it seems to worsen. It Italy right now is in a lockdown. I mean, in Italy, you can't leave the house anymore. Italy is the uh, second or third largest hit country after China. And then also we have, uh, I believe it is Iran that is hit really, really hard. We can take a look at the stats here in just a moment. So... The question is, what do you, what can you do to survive in, in this environment? Well, you have heard me say this. For years, I've been saying the crash is coming. Now, you want to learn how to trade, and here is why. Here's why you want to do it now if you're not, if you don't know yet how to trade. And uh, here's how you can do it. First of all, when you know how to trade, you know what to trade. You know what stocks are the best. As an example, right now in this crash, airlines are hit hard. Airlines are down 50%, more than 50%. Bank of America is down 50%. JP Morgan, uh, I believe it's down 40%. We can take a look at a few stocks here. Anyhow, as a trader, it is important to know what to trade because you can make market in a market that is going up when it recovers and markets always recover. You have seen the statistics here. It always is happening. And you can also make money if the market continues to go down. Now, number two, and this is super, super important, and we'll talk about it more in just a minute. You got to limit your losses. I'm always cringing on the inside when I hear that somebody tells me, I am in this stock and I lost 15%. The other day, somebody said, I lost 15% on Tesla. Limit your losses. This is why I say any given trade, don't risk more than 2% of your account on any given trade. Because then, even if you have five losses in a row, you would only risk 10%. This is so super important because when you do this, this is what I'm, I'm teaching my students. And if you have been following me on YouTube here for a while, you know that I've been preaching this. When you did this, yes, you experienced a small loss as the market start dipping. But then right now you're sitting on the sidelines and you're not suffering more and more losses. Super important. Anyhow, number three, you also need to know when to take profits. I traded live with my private students last week. So last week we established a short position and on Monday, you can imagine on Monday when we had one of the worst days in history, this short position, meaning our betting on a falling market, was up really, really nicely. So we take profit. Don't get greedy because what happened the next day? Markets bounced back up and this is what we are seeing right now. We are seeing a roller coaster like crazy. Now. When you do these things, when you start thinking as a trader, not as an investor, you see what investors do is they have the, the set it and forget it mentality. And in a moment, I'm going to show you why this is super difficult. If you have this, you got to learn how to become a trader because then you will not only survive in this environment. This is when you will thrive in these environments because crashes like this offer fantastic opportunities. 
You just need to learn how to take advantage of them. Now, let me ask you thus far, is this making sense before we continue? Because if it is, click on like. If you're on Facebook and watching this, click on like right now. If you're on YouTube, give me a thumbs up because this way I know that you're that we're going at the right pace here and I also know whether you like these videos or not. If you're enjoying this video, give me a quick like. I would really appreciate this. And then we go on and yes, I will take your questions, of course, in just a moment. All right, but let's talk about. So this is what to do, how to thrive. You see, everybody, everybody is a genius uh, in a bull market. We just, I think it was on Monday, on Monday when the market, when the Dow fell 2,000, thousand points that was an anniversary of the longest bull market in history now in a bull market when we constantly make new all-time highs everybody is a genius right i mean this is when you hear uh, stock tips from uh, i don't know from from your hairdresser from the cab driver everybody is a genius in a bull market Real millionaires and billionaires, they know how to take advantage of an environment that we have here right now. So let me show you the five things that you can do right now if you find yourself in, in this historic times. Yes, we are making history. Is it good history? It depends how you see it. You can use it as an opportunity or you can just sit there and panic and worry. Do not do this. I know that you're different. This is why you're watching this video, right? So let's talk about the things that you can do. I want to start off with a quote here from Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett says, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. See, what do you think? What was everybody here when we made new all-time highs? Everybody got greedy. That's when you better be fearful and get ready for a bear market that we are experiencing right now. And now, when everybody else is fearful, this is the time to get greedy. This is the time to take advantage of the opportunities that are right here in front of us. So let me show you exactly how to do this. Here are the five things of what to do right now as the markets keep crashing. Number one, we already talked about it, learn how to trade. And I know you might not have learned how to trade and right now you might be suffering losses in your retirement account. The question is, how quickly can you make it back when you learn how to trade? I know that you can make it back quicker than you're just waiting and holding, right? Because we've seen it. If we, in fact, go down 40 to 50%, it can take six to eight years until the market is where it is right now. So would you rather make back the money that you might have lost in six to eight years or maybe in one to two years, right? So how exactly do you do this? Well, first of all, subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Subscribe to the channel, hit the little notification bell because this way you're being informed whenever I release a new video or when I go live and you don't miss anything because as you know, recently I have been going live a lot, posting a lot of videos, keeping you basically informed of what's happening and how you can take advantage of this. Number two, if you would like to know how I personally trade, I set up a website for you. It's called mytradingroutine.com. This is where I show you how I find the best stocks to trade, how I limit my losses. This is where I show you when to take profits, the indicators that I use, what the tools that I use. So I'm going to post a link to my trading routine in the description here, but right now you can go there as well. So Take a few notes of what to do next after this video. Number three, on mytradingroutine.com, you'll see that I'm using a tool. It is called PowerX Optimizer. That tool helps me to find the best stocks to trade. Now, if you would like to know how this tool works and to see if this is something that might be valuable to you, talk to Paul on that website, mytradingroutine.com. Uh, so, so Paul, by the way, uh, just to let you know, he is one of my students. Uh, Paul, actually, I met him almost two years ago, a little bit more than a year and a half ago. Now, uh, Paul is an aeronautical engineer, and he had a goal of being able to retire from his current job within the next three years. So again, we met less than two years ago. He has been using this software for quite a while. <clears throat> and uh, so he was able to quit his day job at the end of January. So just 
two months ago. So I, I want you to talk to Paul of how he's using it, how I'm using it. He knows exactly how to do this and uh, then see also if it is a good fit, if the software might be something for you. Okay, number four, find ways to take advantage of the opportunity. Right now, banks are print or the Federal Reserve is printing money, handing it to the banks and they need to hand it out to the consumers. I did a video for you, um, how to take advantage of a crash that shows you exactly what you can do right now to get unsecured lines of credit. And when you use credit, the smart way, investing in yourself, investing maybe in real estate. So anyhow, that's when you should actually do it. I did a video for you. It's 12 minutes long. I'll post the link in the description as well. So do this. And most importantly, most importantly right now, don't panic. And for those of you who know the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you get the, there it is. <laughs> you get the reference, right? So don't panic because be greedy when others are fearful and uh, be fearful when others are greedy. Anyhow, so these are my thoughts of how not only to survive a stock market crash, but how to thrive in a stock market crash. It is never too late to learn how to trade so that you can climb out of the hole if you got into this. Now, if you are already a trader, I know that right now, uh, many of my students are actually making money right now, which is fantastic. I love seeing it in our Facebook VIP group, in our private Facebook group, where people tell me, hey, you made money today. This is great. This is awesome, right? And I want that for you. So these are the five things. Subscribe to my channel. Go to mytradingroutine.com. And if you like what you see there, talk to Paul and see if the software is a good fit to you. Find ways to take advantage of the opportunity. Watch this video, how to take advantage of a stock market crash and don't panic. Hey, if you find this helpful, make sure that you like this video because this way, the, the way how the algorithm works, the more you like it, the more people see it. And also feel free to share this video with anybody who you think might find this information helpful. I always appreciate when you share this video. All right, now here's the advantage of doing this live. I mean, obviously we'll post the recording, but since you're here live, I wanna hear about your questions and your comments. And first of all, before we look at all the questions and I'll see what I can do to help you here. Uh, how, how do you like this, this setup of me floating on the screen? Uh, it's a new test that I'm doing here. And uh, just let me know if you like it or or not. <laughs> okay. Hey, I, I'm doing this here because I love hanging out with you. I love spending some time with you and tell you of what's going on here. Okay. So uh, let me go to the question that I see that in the beginning, some of you said no sound. I found the mistake that I made here. And I turned on the mic. So we are good here right now. Okay. Fantastic. So, <laughs> okay. There's a split uh, I think a, a split opinion on the background. Some like it, others like the wood panel and the motorcycle. Trust me, they're not gone. So they will be back. <laughs> okay, they they like it. Okay, so uh, Marco is asking uh, a great question. Let me bring it up here. Let me actually see, you know what, Marco? Let me see if I can resize it so that you're not, that you're floating next to my head here. So if I had a 401k, I would take a loan on it to protect that much at least. Well, you see, when you're taking loans out, this is super important. Do it in a smart way, right? I mean, when you take out a loan, make sure that you know how to invest it in such a way that you actually make money on this. Because one of the worst things is that what you can do is trade with borrowed money because when you lose that, right? I mean, then you're deep in the hole here. But anyhow, great comment, Marco. Good, good, good. Okay, so uh, Holly says, bear market, huh? That's what it looks like right now. I mean, just look at this. I mean, this is where we see right now. See, we had some resistance right here. I want to say probably at around the, the 23,600 level and we broke through this. So right now we are taking 23,500. So yeah, we're absolutely 
getting into a bear market here right now. Now, the good news is right now, let me go back to this because it's a great comment. See, right now we still have craziness going on. Once this craziness is gone, we will either trend down nicely and this one will have opportunities to bet on a falling market or we might actually see a recovery. And you see, this is what we have always seen. Uh, if you go back here a little bit, uh, for example, to December or here, August 2019, see at first, we have craziness going on and then we have a nice recovery. Now, again, the, the steeper the decline, the longer the recovery. That's what you have just seen. So this is why when we have a, a small rec uh, decline here, that's when we have a quick recovery. But here, if this gets worse, which I believe it could, right, based on what you have seen, uh, we might actually, it takes, might take years to recovery here. Anyhow. Great, uh, great comment. Good to see you on Facebook. All right. So Bernard is asking, this is important information. Will this be recorded? Yes, uh, we are recording this and it will be available both on YouTube and on Facebook. And I will also send you an email. So if you're on, uh, on my email list, I'll send you an email letting you know of where you can access the recording. See the reason why in the beginning I went through it fairly quickly is because Asia, my genius editor, will cut out the beginning, right, before I answer all the questions so that you have this information probably and will be like eight to 12 minutes or something like this, absolutely. So um, let's see what other comments we have. Actually, look at this, Paul is listening to this. So here, Paul Harper, that is the gentleman that I want you to talk to, right? And I wanna see if uh, this software that, that I developed, that I'm personally using, that Paul is using, and that many, many hundreds of other traders are using, if this is something that might help you. I don't know this yet, so let's talk about it. Uh, go to mytradingroutine.com, check it out, see how everything is, what it looks, and if it makes sense to you, then uh, schedule a demo or a call with Paul, so it will be like a 30-minute call, and uh, he can show you what he's doing, what I'm doing, and see if it makes sense for you. Okay. Good, good, good. All right, Julio says, number one done. And this is where you probably subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. I mean, it's really amazing. Uh, in January, we were at 19,000 subscribers and now we are getting close to 21,000 subscribers. So thank you um, for subscribing to this channel, for sharing this video. Really, really much appreciated. Okay, so Ali says, Paul rocks, he is amazing. He truly is. Good. Okay. So Robert says uh, the video is skipping in this live. Well, it won't in the recording. I can promise you that. So it should not do it in the recording. Okay. Sylvia is asking, uh, will I see you this weekend in Pasadena? Yes, I will be there, Sylvia. So this weekend we have an event in Pasadena, California. It's a three-day event where we actually show people who have invested in the software how to use it in the best way. Sylvia, I know that we are going way back. I mean, has it been, what, a year, a year and a half, maybe even two years? Time is flying, right? And I know that there's a whole uh, scare going on with the coronavirus. You know what? I will get on the airplane. I will be there. We will not cancel it. And here's why. We do not want to let you down. Right now is a great opportunity to get into the market. Right now is a great opportunity to, to really learn how to trade. And this is why I want to make sure that I'm personally there. So this is how committed I am. I'm taking my vitamins. I'm taking precautions. Yes, I'm washing my, my hands and do all the stuff that we are supposed to do. And I look forward to seeing you there. I'll definitely be there. Okay, good. Um, Barcelona is asked, can I trade my 401k? You know what? Uh, talk to a professional here. I'm not uh, a licensed advisor, as you can imagine. Let me actually give you a little bit bigger. It's very white, right? This background is very white. Is this better? Okay. So uh, the way how I think it works is that you need to convert this into a 401k that you can trade. Not quite sure if it needs to be an IRA. Talk to a professional, by the way, uh, professionals who give you great uh, free advice here are at TD Ameritrade. So if you want to just go to TD Ameritrade's website, you can talk to them, they're licensed, they can give you individual advice and let you know of whether you, in your particular situation, you can trade your 401k or not. Really depends whether it's active, not active. So there's a lot of things to consider. Eh, let me just come back here before trading this. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. Vodica says, go back to the old version. The background looks much more gemütly. Okay, we'll do that. We can do that. <laughs> okay. All right. I see that you don't like the widescreen. No worries. We go back to the to the usual stuff. Uh, Mo is asking, how is the weather in Austin? You want to come down here right now? It is 83 degrees and sunny. So it is nice and sunny. Uh, so definitely better than Chicago. Mo, I believe that you're in Chicago, right? Okay. So um, Richard and Harvey are asking, what about trading binary option spread? Is now a good time? I purchased the course and it is excellent. Yes, right now is a great time to trade the binary power spread. So if you have invested in this class that we did last week, I mean, right now, you should really have fun with it. Let me just ask you, uh, if you're watching this here, if you're trading binary power spreads, leave a comment and let us know how you're doing with the binary power spreads. I know that many of you have already said, hey, you know what, it's awesome, I'm making money. Uh, I mean, it's 100, 200, 300 dollars a day. Uh, but you, you see, if you do it on a small account, like 3000 dollars, that's awesome. So Harvey, absolutely, the binary power spreads are great to trade. Uh, Vijay is asking, uh, what do you think will stop the, the downside? Will there be a bounce at some point? You see, right now, there's just too much panic going on. And here's the interesting thing. So uh, Vijay, it's a great question. Let me put this down here. Usually, you see, usually when the stock market is going down, gold is the safe haven. It should go up. Take a look at this. This year is gold. Today, gold dropped 1.3%. Gold dropped. What does this mean? This is actually a very, very dangerous sign. It means that people have the mentality right now like sell, 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 sell. Be in cash. That is really reason for concern and it feels that this might be going further down. See, Bitcoin uh, was also supposed to be a safe haven investing. Look at Bitcoin here going down as well. So when you have gold and silver precious metals going down with the stock market, that's not good. Crude oil today, another 4.6% down. You know that Saudi Arabia started this war with Russia right now over crude oil. And this is why prices went down from $48 to $28 overnight and now bounced back trading at $32. When was the last time you saw $32? I mean, we might see gas prices below $2 at the pump. Here in Austin, I already saw yesterday that it is $201. I wouldn't be surprised if this week here in Austin, we will see gas prices below $2. I mean, it always depends on the state that you're in. So what do you think will stop this downslide? Right now, you see, Banks are lowering interest rates. The Fed is lowering the interest rates. Is pumping money into the system. President Trump uh, uh, announces a stimulus plan. And yet, it is not stopping this downslide that you see here right now. Today, down another almost 8%. So, I don't know. At some point, the panic will subside and people will see, oh, that's a great opportunity. But if you look back at what I said in the beginning, we might only be halfway there. So, let's see what other great comments we have here. Okay. Alvaro is asking, where can I find more information about your private students? I'm already a PowerX Optimizer member. Well, let me do the following. Let me bring this up here on the screen. Let me just see. If you would like to know more about our private coaching program student, do the following. Call or text the team. Let me see if I can bring it up here. There we go. There we go. Okay. So call or text. That's a number in the US. 512-337-1885. Uh, right now the team will pick up the phone or if you prefer texting. See, some of you might prefer texting. I personally like to do texting. Text them and say, hey, I would like to know more about this. Can you help me? And they will absolutely make sure that you get more information. Let me put this all the way up here. This way, you see it, call or text if you have any questions regarding this programs. Okay, uh, Julia is asking a great question. What about day trading futures? I love day trading futures, but trust me, right now, I'm staying out of this. This, what's going on, is crazy. Stay away when the markets are crazy, trust me. There's nothing wrong in staying away for a week or two because there will be opportunities coming up over the next few weeks. So right now, I'm not day trading futures, but I am trading binary options, the, the power spreads that Harvey um, mentioned earlier. 
Good. All right. So, when do you expect the markets will go up? I don't think that we have seen the bottom yet. I mean, I think that we might actually just be halfway there. So it can be that we see uh, actually a run of the Dow down all the way to maybe 20,000 could happen, right? I mean, it could happen because if you look at the coronavirus right now, we still don't know what impact it has on the economy. Right now, you just see that we still have more and more cases coming up and we have more companies reporting that they ask their employees to work from home, right? Uh, so, I mean, festivals are being canceled. Uh, conferences are being canceled. People are not traveling. So we have, we have a perfect storm here right now uh, because we have, on the one hand, all the hospitalities. We have airlines dropping like a rock. I mean, here, take a look at this. Here's American Airlines, for example. American Airlines... Uh, as you can see right now, already down 50% from what? 31 to $16. Uh, Spirit, let me just uh, make sure that I hit it here. Uh, Spirit Airlines, safe. Yeah, oops, that's not the one that is SVE. So they are down. Uh, United Airlines, look at this, uh, going from $47 to $20 here. So we have these stocks that are hurting. Then we have uh, stocks that are in the oil and gas industry, like for example, Chevron, right? I mean, CVX, uh, if you look at that, CVX hurt dramatically, went from what, $120 to $83. So here, dramatic decline. So we have that going on. And uh, then we have the banks also that are hurting because of the low interest rates that we have right now. I mean, take a look at uh, this here, Bank of America, Bank of America, uh, went all the way from $35 to $22. So a huge decline here, $21. See, down 40%, 50%. Uh, so that is getting scary here. So when will it go up? We, we need to see that we, that we find some buying somewhere. And right now I'm not seeing it because the bounce that we had yesterday was just because of the stimulus that everybody is expecting. But you might have heard it, the stimulus packet, nobody knows yet what it will be like. So great question, but uh, I think we might see the market sliding a little bit more before it gets better. Okay, so let's see. What other questions do we have? KW said, like the old BMW in the background better. To be honest, it's a Harley Davidson. <laughs> but we'll bring that back. We'll bring that back. Okay. So uh, GA is asking a great question. So can PowerX Optimizer right now in these times or should one better wait for less, has less hectic stuff moves? I highly recommend that you wait a few days until this craziness comes to an end. And that's when you look in history, it'll be probably stay crazy for another week or two. That's what I'm expecting. And then after this, let me just go back here to what I've shown you earlier, because I think this is here. Very important that we see. There we go. Right. You see what happens right now. This is the period that we are in, and then it will go back to normal. So I, I would wait until then to be honest, uh, before using PowerX Optimizer. If at all, use it right now to trade options, right? I mean, if at all, I would rather trade options with it, uh, but it, it doesn't hurt to stay on the sidelines for another week or two. Great question, okay. Good. Let's see. All right. Jonas is asking a great question. Jonas from Frankfurt. Uh, do you think the bottom of SPY around 273 will hold or will the market crash further? Are you staying out of the market or taking any long, or long or short positions? You see right now, uh, Jonas, I am trading the binary options because those are fantastic. Now they expire daily and therefore they're perfect for these market conditions. Right now, I'm not, I do not own any stocks. I don't have any long and short positions. The last short positions that I have, I took profits on Monday. So on Monday, let's just go back here really quick. Uh, you see this when we had the dramatic drop. And right now, I just would wait until the markets are back to normal. I mean, the VIX, the volatility index is at an all-time high. It is just crazy. Look at this. There's Jim. Jim says, I'm making money every day on the power spreads. That is amazing. That's, that's what they're designed for. And I mean, market conditions like right now 
are really fun to trade with the power spreads. Okay, that is good. So Lorena says, making money with the binary power spreads. That's so good to hear, Lorena. Mark says, yes, uh, this is called <laughs> BOCS. Uh, let me translate it for you. It's binary option call spread is going good. Okay, so these are the binary power spreads. Okay, so Tim is asking, how do you know which binary options to pick? Can you use the PowerX software? Um, actually, this is where we have a very unique way to find the right binary options. And we did a whole class, a whole course on this so that we have available. Uh, if you're interested in this at all, uh, call or text uh, the, the office. Right, call next to the team and ask, hey, I would like to learn more about the binary power spreads. I know that we had a special at the beginning of the week. I don't know if the special is going on, but if you're super nice, I'm pretty sure that they will do something nice for you. Okay, so um, just ask them. They will let you know if we have a special going on there. Joseph is asking, can I still buy the binary option spread program? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Call or text the office, 512-337-1885, and just say, hey, um, do you still have a special for this, or how much is it right now? And they can definitely help you with this. Great question. Okay, find your success. I just love your handle here. It's saying binary power spreads are working great. That is good to hear. Okay, uh, Junior says, uh, yeah, interesting point. Bonds were also going down today, even as stocks were dropping. You're absolutely right. You see, there's usually an inverse relationship that when the stock market drops, bonds or interest rates should go up as well as gold, silver uh, or silver, right? I mean, precious metals. Right now, it's really the mentality, sell, 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 sell. So kind of crazy market. Stay on the sidelines. Wait until this, this all shakes out here. Okay, look at this. There's already the first states in Savannah, Georgia. The gas is already $1.92. When was the last time we saw that? That must be in the 90s. Who remembers the 90s? Yeah, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Good, 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 good. Uh, Robert is asking a great question and says, Hey, I haven't seen a power alert in a while. Did I miss it? Robert, no, you haven't. The power alerts, that's what we say, they are for long positions. So right now, as the market is crashing and burning, there are no stocks that we want to buy right now. As soon as we see opportunities, we will let you know. But yes, we haven't issued anything in these crazy markets because power alerts are for longs only, meaning that you're betting on a rising market. And right now, obviously, that's not what we are doing. Anyhow. Great question. Oh, let me catch my breath here for a moment. Have a sip of coffee after all. This is all called coffee with Marcus, right? <clears throat> Hope that you are also having your favorite beverage. Okay, good. Um, you see, uh, Carlos asking what ETFs can be short now. You see, they're inverted ETFs. Uh, it's kind of strange the way how it works, but it basically means as the market goes down, those ETFs are going up. Honestly, right now, I would stay away from it. You can get chopped into pieces. And here's why, Carlos. Look at this. We had the market. Here we go. We had the market crashing down right here. And then we had this huge spike back. Then we had the market crashing again. Then we had a spike back. Then we had the market crashing yesterday. We had a spike back, right? I mean, so we will see as we will hear more about the the banks from all over the world, as we will hear more about the governments, about stimulus plans, we will have these short bounces, right? Uh, so I, I would really, really be, be super careful right now, uh, shortening ETFs or anything like this. I would just wait. There will be opportunities. And in the meantime, trade the binary power spreads. They are just awesome. Okay, um, Alvaro is asking, it's a great question. Alvaro is asking, um, Herr Marcus, <laughs> do you recommend buying blue chip stocks now since they're cheap? Well, I mean, I do not try to catch a falling knife. And right now, this knife is still falling. So, yes, you could. But then again, how many years do you want to hold it? So, rather, Alvaro, I, I know that we have met before. I, I remember you. I remember Alvaro. Um where have we met, Alvaro? Where have we met? I, I can't remember. I just know that we, we have met. Uh, so, so you know uh, how I trade. And this is where 
I do not believe in blue chip stocks right now. I believe that there will be some stocks that will outperform the market. You see they're even doing it right now. As all the market is going crazy and is going down, AMD, out of all stocks, AMD is going up. INO, which is a pharmaceutical company, is going up. Look at this like crazy. Uh, TLSA, not, it's not Tesla. TLSA, Tiziana Life Sciences has been going up like crazy here today. So there will be always stocks that are, that are bucking the overall trend. And once the markets are coming down and get a little bit nicer to trade, I'll jump right back in. I personally will not buy blue chip stocks. I will buy stocks that the software PowerX Optimizer recommends. Anyhow, great question. Okay, I know that we have only a few more minutes because I don't want to keep you forever. Um, so Michael says, Bye, bye, bye. Everything is on sale. Yeah, but you see, it might actually keep dropping. So I do. I personally do not believe that we have seen the bottom here. I believe that we will see a little bit more of a drop, especially since we don't know what uh, economic impact the coronavirus will have. Uh, take a look at this here. Um, yeah, I like this website. This is from the John Hopkins University. So the John Hopkins University is actually showing this map from all over the world where we see 80,000 cases in China, 12,000 in Italy, 9,000 in Iran. In the US thus far, only 1,135, and this could spread more. So we don't know yet what economic Im uh, impact this coronavirus will have. I heard from universities who are right now canceling classes uh, for the remainder of the semester. I, I hear of schools being closed. I hear uh, that uh, who was it? Facebook is basically telling their employees, Facebook, Google, Apple, they tell their, tell their employees to stay home, work from home until the end of the month uh, or maybe even into April. So th there will be more impact on the on the overall economy and we don't know yet what it will be. Anyhow, do you like the back, black background better? <laughs> okay. Anyhow, let's go back here to the Dow. So Michael, I would not buy just yet. Okay, so Monica says, go to the slogan of the cup, please. I love it. It's trade what you see, not what you think, right? So I wait until I see opportunities, then I trade what I see, not what I think. All right. It was so great to hang out with you. Are you loving this? Are you enjoying this? Because if you do, click on like and let me know that you're loving these Coffee with Marcus. You know that I've already been live on Monday and today, so already twice this week. If you're enjoying this, if you're loving this, I'll do more of these. Just let me know by just hitting like or leave a comment and says, yes, do more. And uh, this way, I'm, I'm enjoying hanging out with you and I, I hope that you're enjoying it as much as I do. Just... Um, chatting, right? I mean, over coffee, that's what we do, right? I mean, we're having coffee together and we talk about what's going on because what I'm telling you right now is exactly what I would tell anybody who would have a coffee with me, whether it is my dad, whether it is uh, anybody from my family, a good friend. And this is what I consider you being a, a good friend. Some of you I've met in person and so great uh, to, to meet you. Some of you I haven't met yet. Uh, and I hope that someday soon we will meet because we're doing events all over the country and trust me, we will not slow down because in times like this where we have fantastic opportunities, I want to come to you. I want to come to a city near you and show you how I personally trade. I want to show you how to take advantage of these markets, right? Because it is a great time for those who know how to take advantage of this. And this is what I want you to do. So don't panic. Don't put your head in the sand. See this as a great opportunity. In every recession, we have millionaires emerging. Why not you, right? So, hope to talk to you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.